For a long time, I have avoided doing review videos on potentially broken or cheesy weapons. Not because I think my opinion would be an unpopular one, as a matter of fact they're just not valued, but because they are likely to be covered by hundreds of other channels already. But you know what? You either die a hero or live long enough to see yourself become the villain. So here we go then. Let's take a look at one of the finest cheeses to have ever graced the crucible of Destiny 2. Erentil FR4. This ridiculous sniper rifle, disguised as a fusion rifle, has tilted so many guardians, induced tears and hatred wherever it goes. So the obvious question is, why is it so popular? With high impact frame, decent range and aim assist, this gun is relatively easy to use for beginners and can one hit kill when all your bolts hit your target. With the perk under pressure, your bolts will line up significantly tighter when your magazine is low, which in PvP will naturally activate because you start with two shots. Fusion rivals are also more forgiving when it comes to engaging distance, potentially giving you an upper edge in certain encounters. But it has a charge time, so remember to play it safe and don't rush like a shotgun titan, because that'll be a douchebaggy move, and also this could happen. Rip. But what about Yelton? Yes, I hear you. The Mega Man Buster Gun is also, regrettably, a popular cheese. I mean, choice. However, it's an RNG exotic and therefore making it less accessible compared to Erentil. Besides, now that you can craft specific weapons via Menagerie, rolling a decent version of Erentil has arguably never been easier. It's certainly better than relying on this guy. How you doing? For PvP, my recommendation would be to aim for a roll with Under Pressure and any perk in the second slot that can improve stability. Slap a ranged masterwork and you have yourself a fine piece of cheese. Just look at that range, it's beautiful! For PvE, I recommend doing this. Yeah. That's it from me in this episode. If you liked this video, consider giving it a thumbs up or maybe even get subscribed. If you disliked it, well, you've probably been melted one too many times by this gun. But anyway, do let me know what I can improve in my next video for you. If you have any guns you'd like me to review, just drop me a comment here or on Twitter. And I'll see you guys soon.